Here, we will demonstrate the blood pressure measurement of a patient. This is a sphygmomanometer and we have a stethoscope. At first, the cuff portion of a sphygmomanometer apparatus, we will attach it to the hand of patient at a level of 1 inch above the bend of the elbow, like this. After that, we will properly arrange and adjust the sphygmomanometer apparatus. After that, we will check whether the stethoscope is working properly or not. Then, the chest piece of the stethoscope, we will attach it to the level of elbow of the patient. Then, we will adjust the knob of the bulb of sphygmomanometer apparatus in order to proceed with the procedure. After the adjustment, we will start pressing the bulb and raise the air pressure in the apparatus. We will let the mercury raise up to a level of 140 mmHg. During this raising of the level of mercury, we will very carefully notice the variations occurring in the mercury level. Once the mercury raises up to 140 mmHg, we will start releasing the air pressure slowly by moving the valve or the knob. During this releasing of pressure, we will very carefully and vividly notice the variations occurring. We will see that at first, slowly the straight mercury comes down, but oscillation starts from a point and ends at a point. The point at which oscillation starts, we will start getting the sound lub dub of the pulse rate in our ears through the stethoscope. And the sound will continue till the point where the oscillation stops. The point at which the oscillation starts is known as the systolic blood pressure and the point at which oscillation stops is known as the diastolic blood pressure. Thus, in this way, we can measure and find out the blood pressure of a patient. After the completion of the procedure, we will release the air pressure fully and remove the cuff from the patient's hand. Thus, by this procedure, we can very easily find out the systolic and diastolic blood pressure of a patient.